Hey, what's up guys? I'm Coach Mike, your on-site wellness program manager from WebMD. We'll be doing some short videos for you guys on how to stay flexible and mobile while you're on the road because sitting in those chairs all day, sitting in your, your cab all day, you're kind of stuck in bad positions, putting us in bad postures, and we want to get you standing upright again so you have less chance of injury and pain. So we'll show you some quick, easy things you can do, actually utilizing your truck even, that'll help you stay in those better postures. One of the tools we utilize to work on our mobility and our posture is a foam roll. You can get these for like 20 bucks at a Walmart, a Target, pretty much anywhere nowadays, any sporting goods store. And it's a great tool to utilize. If you get those knots in your back, it's kind of like giving yourself a self massage. So we'll use this for a couple moves today to show you something you can do on the road to relieve some of that pressure on your back. And what we'll do, place the foam roll on the ground, sit on top, and then roll to your T-spine. Your T-spine is basically your upper back area. So it's not your lumbar, not your low back. It's right where your rib cage begins. Give yourself a hug, pick your hips up, and just roll up and down, putting as much body pressure, as much body weight as you'd like to, to create some pressure in that T-spine. You might feel a couple good cracks and relieve that tension on the T-spine. Now next, you can roll to one side more if you're ready and work more on just one side, kind of that muscle tissue in between the shoulder blades and the spine, and then roll to the other and do the same thing. And this will isolate those muscle tissues a little more to help unlock them. Today we'll be doing a hip flexor stretch utilizing your truck. We're gonna utilize this front step, so you'll probably want something for your knee. I'm using a towel, just something soft you can put your knee on top of so you're not on the ground. You'll put your foot on that very first step, drop your knee to that towel or that soft mat that you have, and you'll feel a huge stretch in your hip flexor here. That's right in the front of your hip. Now, quick note, if you have to really push yourself forward to feel the stretch, the stretch isn't it for you. You're already flexible and mobile enough, okay? So we wanna stay basically at neutral, a straight line from the top of our head down to our knee, and you should feel a good stretch there. After a long day of sitting in the cab, sitting in that forward position, these hip flexors get nice and short, kind of weak and kind of tight. So we wanna make sure we stretch those back out. You'll hold the stretch for about two minutes on each side, and it'll help get you in a better posture. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a calf stretch utilizing your truck. Now I know you guys have to have three points of contact whenever you're entering or exiting the truck for safety purposes. But while you're doing that, we might as well get a good stretch in at the same time. So the reason I want you guys stretching your calves is because most of our pain and injuries up the connect chain start at the foot and ankle. Why? Because that's the, the point of contact we typically have with our environment. So those get really tight and short and weak, especially because we are shoes that our bodies just aren't designed to wear. And when that calf gets short and tight and weak, it can affect everything else like your knee, your hip. So if you're feeling problems up the chain, stretch your calves and it might alleviate that. So what we're gonna do, make sure again, you have your three points of contact. We're gonna utilize that first step. So once you grab hold of your handlebars, take a step up and just let that heel hang off for about two minutes, getting a good deep stretch in that calf. After your two minutes, you'll switch sides and just let it hang to your comfort level as far as you can feeling that deep stretch. The next thing we'll do is go back to the original side and give a little bend to the knee. What this does is stretch a different part of the calf. So as you drop that heel, you'll just feel it a little bit deeper and lower into the calf muscle. Of course, after two minutes, switch sides, bend the knee and hold. Now, if you don't feel a stretch on any one of these, that stretch just isn't for you. You're already flexible and mobile enough, so just leave that one out. But if you feel it more on the straight leg, that's the one for you. If you feel it more on the bent knee, that's the one for you. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Coach Mike. I am your on-site program manager from WebMD. What that means is I am here to answer any questions you have about your wellness program, uh, whether it be how to utilize our portal online, how to download and use the app, how you get your points or what those points mean. Uh, my email is maustin at webmd.net. Feel free to hit me up with any questions you might have, or even if you just want some general direction with wellness, exercise, what it may be, um, send, that, send me those questions and I'll be happy to answer them for you.